going on guys welcome back to northwoods ripping with rupert uh today we're going to do a little review on this action too i've been talking about it now for oh, a couple of weeks and i've been having issue after issue trying to get this review out and it's mainly on how this camera works um there's a couple things that i'm going to cover today uh it, i mean it is a nice little camera it has a great picture to it but there are a ton of flaws that are going to cause you some issues while you're trying to fly or while you're trying to get some videos out um the main issue i guess with this camera is the battery life uh the battery life is terrible um, I maybe got like two or three flights with my three and a half inch uh, before the battery would just die on it and I'd have to reconnect um, to the lower brick to charge again. Um, the other issue is this, the internal storage. Uh, because you disconnect from this lower brick, you're disconnecting from the SD card. And so you're, you're having to use the internal storage while you fly. Well, you can only fit like two or three flights onto this, maybe four. Uh, before it totally cuts off your flight and then you got to transfer the videos onto the SD card Which is fairly easy. Um, it's all through the camera itself, but it does take some time. So if you're in a hurry um, Yeah, I mean it, it took probably a good 25 minutes for me to transfer four videos onto the SD card So that's the kind of stuff that you can be looking out for um, The other issue too is if you break the lens on this thing you're screwed um I, I don't believe you can get another one. It's not replaceable. Uh, this does not, you can't twist this out or nothing. So um, those are the main issues that I notice with this camera. But besides that, I mean, like I said, it does have a great picture. Uh, the night capabilities aren't the best either. <clears throat> I did turn the uh, shutter, or I mean, the, I opened the shutter up all the way and did a couple night flights with it and it was okay but it's not not nearly as good as the gopro and the gopro isn't even that good either so um but shouldn't be flying at night anyway but that's just another issue that i had found with it um but yeah besides that like i said the picture is good on it um i'm gonna do a flight video in this just to show you um you know um what what, what it looks like and and um how well it actually does perform I would say I would never get this camera to fly five inch. Um, I would definitely stick to my GoPro for my five inch quads, but this is probably best suited for like three inch, three and a half inch, you know, where you don't want to have your GoPro on top of the quad uh, to freestyle. Um, it seems, I mean, the weight of it was great. Uh, so, but yeah, here, let's check out a flight video here real quick and then we'll come back and finish this up.
So um, I'm sure you can come up with your best educated decision on whether this is the camera for you or not after watching that flight video. Um, I just want to recover again. It's the battery life that I didn't like, uh, the storage and the lens not being able to be removed. Um, I have been trying to come out with this review now for like two weeks and every time I went out to fly it just to get the flight video for this, something happened with it. Either I ran out of storage or the battery was dying on me or something was happening. And so that's the best flight video I could come up with with this thing in two weeks. Um, so that's just kind of the, I mean, tells you the issues that I was having with this camera. Um, I, I believe this camera costs right around like $400, four or $500, um, especially for the one that's a dual screen one, the, like the version I got here. And so is that worth the money to you? Um, come up with the best educated decision yourself. I don't want to tell you yes or no as I don't want to push anything on you or not push anything on you that you might like. Um, but I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts on what you think about this camera. I'm going to continue to use it to fly on my 3 inch and my 3.5 inch just because it is a lighter camera. I'm also going to continue to use this as my vlogging camera. Um, it works well as that because if you keep it connected to the bottom, you can, you can film with your SD card. You don't have to worry about the internal storage. Um, and I usually keep it connected as I'm vlogging anyway. So that's what it's best suited in, in, in for me at least. Um, but yeah, again, let me hear your guys' thoughts on this camera. Um, would you guys buy this camera? Is it worth it to you? So uh, besides that, have your guys yourself a wonderful week. Uh, be sure to go over to the Blade Outlaws YouTube page and check out my flight videos from this weekend. I believe they're gonna be posted on Monday. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful week. We'll see you guys next weekend. Peace.